What if the smallest creatures on Earth weren't so small? What if beetles were the size of bulldogs and ants patrolled the jungle like wolves? It's a question of biology, physics, and evolution. This is Lifenix, nature reimagined through AI. And today, we explore a world reshaped by scale. A world where insects grow to impossible size. Insects rely on exoskeletons, rigid outer shells made of chitin. It protects them, gives structure, and helps prevent water loss. But there's a catch. If an insect grows in length, its surface area increases by the square, but its volume and weight increases by the cube. This is known as the square cube law. So when an ant becomes 10 times longer, it becomes 1,000 times heavier. Its exoskeleton can't handle the load. Legs snap, joints fail, the body collapses under its own weight. To survive, dog-sized insects would need entirely new support systems internal bones or muscle reinforcements, structures evolution never gave them. There's another hidden limit, breathing. Insects don't have lungs. Instead, they breathe through tiny openings in their bodies called spiracles. Oxygen diffuses through narrow tubes, the tracheae, to reach their tissues. At small sizes, this works. But as body size increases, diffusion becomes less effective. Cells deep inside the body simply can't get enough oxygen. Dog-sized insects would suffocate. Unless they evolved lungs or active ventilation systems, their biology just can't scale. But here's the twist. Giant insects once existed. 300 million years ago, during the Carboniferous period, Earth's atmosphere held more oxygen, around 30%, compared to today's 21%. This higher oxygen level allowed insects to grow larger. Meganura, a dragonfly relative, had a wingspan of over two feet. Millipedes stretched to human length, but even they were limited. And when oxygen levels dropped, so did insect size. Today's atmosphere can't support giants, not without artificial enhancement or radical evolutionary change. Let's say we ignored oxygen and armor. Let's say we built a beetle the size of a dog. There's another issue. Movement. Insect muscles aren't like ours. They're arranged around hollow shells. And as they scale up, their strength to weight ratio drops. A small beetle can lift 50 times its weight. A giant one? Maybe not even its own. Walking becomes slow. Flying becomes impossible. Even molting, shedding the exoskeleton to grow, becomes life-threatening. The new shell would take hours to harden, leaving the insect vulnerable and immobile. Evolution never scaled them up because it couldn't. If we rewrote nature's rules, gave insects stronger skeletons, lungs, and thermal controls, could they thrive? Possibly. But ecosystems would be transformed. Dog-sized locusts would devastate crops in hours. Giant wasps could hunt small animals. Massive termites might reshape entire forests. They'd compete with birds, mammals, and reptiles, or replace them. It's not just their size that matters, it's their numbers. Insects don't come alone, they swarm. One dog-sized ant might be manageable. A colony of a million? That's an ecological disaster. Could humans coexist with giant insects? In a speculative future, with genetic engineering, artificial oxygen zones, and bio-domed ecosystems, maybe. We might even design new insects as living machines, pollinators, waste processors, or cargo carriers. But that's not evolution. That's technology reshaping biology. And even then, safety and stability would be a constant risk. In the natural world, unchecked insect gigantism would be a threat to food chains, biodiversity, 
and human survival. Insects don't need size to dominate. They've evolved to be efficient, not enormous. Ants form colonies that act like superorganisms. Bees perform complex dances to communicate. Termites cultivate underground farms. Their strength isn't in size. It's in numbers, adaptability, and simplicity. Insects thrive in every ecosystem on Earth because being small works. They've lasted over 400 million years without ever needing to grow larger than a human hand. In the end, the idea of giant insects is a fantasy, one rooted in our imagination, not biology. The real world operates on balance. Physics, chemistry, and evolution all set limits. Insects aren't small by accident. They're small because it's the only way their design truly works. This is the world we know, shaped not by what could be, but by what survives. Through AI, we can reimagine, but through science, we understand. This is Lifenix.